alright troops, what's happening today? It's another lovely day in Scotland today. It's sunny, but I don't really like it because it's too warm, don't you understand? I need the winter back as soon as possible. I have my pink Rubicon here. Uh -huh. Guava, no shite. This is just the good stuff. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Need to put some uh, rum in it later. Make it a wee Caribbean cocktail, no? So what am I here to talk about we use today? Well, it's the Avengers beta on PS4. Because the Xbox version isn't out yet, so... I there's that shocking shenanigan. Now, I think it's a wee bit late in the day to be putting out a beta for a game that's out in, like, three weeks. Kind of pointless. Don't know why they're bothering. It's not even really a beta at this point, is it? It is mainly just, like, a sort of stress test for the servers, so... Why do you keep making these things closed is beyond me. I would make it open from, like, just have a few missions, but make it open from now to the game's out. So you're going to get all kinds of people coming back. Maybe want to try different characters, maybe want to try different ways of playing the game, even though there isn't any different ways of playing the game that I can see. But let people come and go as they please. Don't go, well, we're going to have it open for two days, for three hours a day. That's a Bethesda move. Remember that with Fallout 76? Huh. I keep coming back to that game, especially when I'm talking about live service titles like this. Even though it does have a single player mode that can be played offline according to Square Enix and the internet. It's not fully, fully 100% online, but there is an online service portion to the game. Like GTA Online or Red Dead Online or your uh, Call of Duty Warzone or you, you get the idea. It's that sort of live service. It's not taken over entirely, but it's... Still there! So I was excited to go, oh there's an Avengers beta, I pre-ordered the Xbox version and I thought great, I'll get my beta code, got that from game, went on the Square Enix website and I'm like, oh it's not available yet. Why did you send me the code then? Why was I sent the code for the beta that's not available? That seems a little annoying and it wound me up a wee bit so I did the only thing that I could do is I went and pre-ordered the PS4 version through Amazon, got my beta code and cancelled the pre-order. If it's that easy to get a beta code, why bother having that hurdle to jump? It's so stupid, it's pointless. Dumbasses. And the most recent controversy with the Avengers game is that Spider-Man is exclusive to the PlayStation 4. I knew that was going to happen. It shouldn't happen, given that all but Sony owns Spider-Man. No, they don't. Sony only has the distribution rights for the films, nothing else. So what I think's happened with Disney is they've went, oh, we really want Spider-Man back in the MCU, right? So we're going to have to cut deals here. So they've probably said, look, Sony, you can have a 10-year Spider-Man exclusivity for video games for your new machine and your old machine. And they're like, smashing! So I, I, I won't say that Spider-Man won't come out in the Xbox or PC. I think it probably will. It's just a matter of time. I don't think it'll be as long as 10 years, but it might be in a couple of years, maybe five but I think that's how this is happening. So you'll probably see Spider-Man come to the PC and Xbox version of Avengers in the future. By that point in time, no one will care, but it'll happen, I'm sure of it. So I downloaded the beta, booted it up and went, right, what is this all about? It's just a beat em up. Basically, it's an it's a action RPG beat em up where you'll get upgrades and gear. And I don't like the way the gear's handled because it doesn't make any tangible difference to the look of your character so kind of what's the point do you know what I mean I, I, why I don't like that I like to I like to see my characters change or probably costumes because I'm pretty sure I've seen pictures of the Hulk in his Thor Ragnarok outfit so they'll probably be different outfits so you'll have your customization this is just like enhancements for your you know, your punches and your kicks and your specials and yeah, the, the game feels great to play. I mean, it's it's a competent fighter. I mean, I, I do really quite enjoy it. I don't think I'm going to get it in release anymore, though. I think I'm going to wait till it comes to a, maybe like a 25, 25 quid, because I've just got, I've got a worry that there's not going to be an awful lot of longevity with the game. I'm not really big into playing online games. If the online portion was treated like The Division, where you don't need Xbox Live Gold or PS Plus to play the single player portion of the online stuff. You need gold to play the co-op parts of Dark Zones in the Division. Thus you'd probably need uh, uh, Xbox Live Gold online PS Plus to play the co-op portions of the online missions you'll get. But I'd like to see you be able to play the single player portion of those missions without the need of a subscription because I really subscription models in this day and age just 
piss me off. I'd actually rather some form of microtransaction if I get to actually experience experience the game and then you could maybe buy a wee suit here and there. I probably wouldn't bother. I've never bothered with microtransactions. I'm no my weakness comes from eating too much sugar and buying every game that I could possibly get my feckin' hands on and then not play them. Which I am starting to rein in. Uh, I am saving for these new machines if we ever get a real estate and a price. Hopefully sometime in August, eh? Come on guys, play the game, eh? No pun intended. Actually, that's a lie. Pun intended. The game opens with the tutorial level you saw at the E3 event some time ago. Where it goes from Thor to Iron Man to Hulk, Black Widow, blah blah blah. Captain America. That's what you play. That's your, that's your first starting point. Which is linear, but uh, I'm okay with uh, the game being linear. Um, there's been a big sort of discussion going on about does every game need to be open world? Do we all need to have these open world experiences? No, I don't think so, but the minute a linear game comes along, like, why is it not open worlds? Because people continually complain about games all being open. So they're like, well, let's make this a linear experience, we'll make it more fun. It lasts as long as it needs to, it won't be dragged out for hundreds of hours doing menial crappy side quests. I believe there are exploration levels in this game, but I haven't played them. I only played up to the first boss, which was Abomination, and I thought it was really way too easy. I, I didn't lose once to Abomination, but the, the wee guys to the level, I got done in quite a few times off them. So there seems to be a wee bit of balance and need to be tweaked. But other than that, I enjoyed the boss fight. It was it was a fine cinematic experience, and it was fun, those explosions, and I got to kick him in the face, and then pummeling seed in with a big electricity ball thing and then land at a platform on his seed. That was fun. That was fun. I'm also worried about not being able to select the characters that I want. Uh, it looks like you'll have like Hulk's missions, Thor's missions, Iron Man's missions, Black Widow's missions, Captain America's missions or whatever. And it's... Uh, I kind of want to play the whole game as Thor because he's one of my favourite characters but I don't mind going Hulk, he's just Slow, but I'd like to be able to play the whole game as one character. Kind of annoys me a wee bit, but it's, it's a silly thing to be annoyed by, I know. I know, I know, I know. But it's, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to give this one a little bit of a skip and a jump over. I think I had these new machines not come out this year, I'd probably get it. But priorities, and uh, like I said before, I'm concerned for the longevity of the game. Because I don't think it's going to last. I think the single player portion is probably going to be about your, your 10 hour mark and they're really going to build up the online parts. Which is single player or co-op and I've said that as well. Hopefully no subscription model will be needed in any way shape or form to play parts of the online portion of this. But we'll see, we'll see what happens when it's out on the 1st of September for the Xbox One, PS4 and PC. If you do like this video, please share it, subscribe, comment and like or dislike. One or the other. No fuss, just a wee interaction would be nice to help promote this dead channel, this corpse of a YouTube channel. Anyway, adios folks.